The wait is over. They are officially here. The brand new chroma cannons from Both Lighting USA are officially here in black and white. And let me tell you, these have a lot of features that are behind the scenes that I'm going to get into in this video. Yes, the brand new Chroma Cannons are here. We're gonna break this video up into a variety of different sections so that way you guys get all the different info that you're gonna want and need on these brand new products. First off, we'll go through all the different specs on these lights. We'll give you guys a quick walk around of them, show you all the features, do some quick demos in the hallway so you guys can see the light output of these. We'll talk about basically what they are meant to be and we'll show you guys all the case configurations, which let me tell you, this new charging case is game changer. It is a game changer charging case, and I hope that we're about to roll these out for some of our other lights to make charging even easier. And then we'll get into basically my thoughts and opinions on the lights at the end of the video. As always with my videos, I like to be upfront and transparent with you guys on a quick little disclaimer. I am the owner of Both Lighting USA, so if you wish to buy the products from us at Both Lighting USA, you can do so at bowflightingusa.com. And we go a little step above and beyond with the products to make sure that we're guaranteeing the best quality. We also work with the team at Both Lighting to overdevelop these lights. That's why they took so long to get to release because they originally were RGBW and we were like, they need to be hex. And we also wanted the lens to be adjustable. So the lenses are adjustable, which we'll see in the demo. So you can go all the way from a pinpoint spot all the way to a super wide wash. And we also wanted to make sure that they work directly with the IR4 uplights, which are by far the most popular uplights on the market. And they literally work master slave directly with the IR4s, which again, I'll show you guys in the demo, but that's awesome because for you guys that aren't getting into DMX yet and you wanna use just the traditional features of the lights, if you already have the IR4s or if you're looking to get up lights, these will work directly with them in your setup. So right here are the brand new Chroma Cannons. Pretty cool, you can actually see into this circuit board on the inside. Of course, when the light's on, you can't see it, but basically you have one single diode inside there it's a 15 watt hex diode that means it's got red green blue amber white and uv all the light output that you want color wise you have a white gloss and a matte black really big fan of the matte shine on the light on the bottom you have your single charging port on the bottom it is a 8.7 volt charger that basically plugs into it right here is the standard single charger um, the charging case we'll get into has a little cool hidden feature in it that makes these being able to just plop right in and charge. You also have a standard quarter inch thread, basically tripod mount on the bottom, which allows you to basically connect these to magnets. You can connect them to clamps. You can connect them to a lot of different things to do a variety of different pin spotting type of stuff or highlighting different areas of features and colors like these things are so versatile and I'll get into that in a minute to turn them on you just hold the enter button on the far right we're gonna hold it we're gonna turn them on real quick these have the same menu screens as the IR4 uplights if you're familiar with them but basically you have your DMX 0 through 512 you can adjust the DMX color group so basically the wireless DMX group wireless DMX is built into these so you have your standard seven different wireless DMX groups that you can go through 10 or six channel DMX. You have your color selector. You can go through all the different colors that are available. There's 32, I think, different color combinations you can go through. You have your speed adjustment. You have a jump scene, fade options, so different fades. You do have a music mode as well. So sound active modes that'll bounce around to the music. And of course you have a RF mode as well for your IR control. You have this RF screen, which basically determines if this light's gonna act as a slave or a master. So basically you can adjust if it's a slave or a master when it comes to basically the wireless remote control. I'm gonna leave that on slave. And then you have basically um, your then you have your full color mixing one where you can basically go in and adjust all the different functionalities of red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV to make whatever color you want. And then you can adjust your wireless DMX frequency. So this is basically your one through seven different colors on the wireless DMX frequency. 
and then we basically can turn on and off the master functionality of the light and then we're back to our DMX screen. The light itself is a very simple construction. The lens on top, you actually can adjust the beam angle between 64 degrees and 31 degrees and you simply do that by unscrewing the top. So as you unscrew this, it'll adjust the lens degree angle. And it does take a while to unscrew it all the way to get the maximum pinpoint ability of this light, but it is fully adjustable. So basically once you see the threads start to show up, that's how you know you have it at the maximum angle. Similarly, the back also can be unscrewed if you guys want to service this light or look on the inside. And since this is a demo video, I will take it out so you can see. Right there is your diode, the big beefy 4500 milliamp battery inside. We haven't done full complete battery testing. I will put up text on the screen as to how long this lasts, but we've taken these out to a couple events now and we've been getting 10 plus hours of battery on these lights, which is absolutely more than what we could ever expect or want and need. So now let's talk about controlling the new chroma cannons. If you're familiar with the IR4s, it is very similar but yet different. As you can see, it is a full-on metal enclosure and it's designed to sit like this. So the only area that is basically visible to the inside is the actual lens where it's projecting light from. In this scenario, we could not go with a traditional IR remote where you point the remote at the light and it changes that remote. Instead, it actually has RF functionality built into it. So if you're familiar with the original version of the IR4s before we had the awesome screens, basically that's how the control functionality works by itself. Now, if you already have IR4s, this right here is one of the IR uplights. It is by far the most popular uplight that we sell. Four lights, very compact, easy design with the same functionality screen that you see on the new chroma cannons. So with this light, you point the remote at it and it will basically, as you can see right there, it's actually master slaving with the chroma cannons because it does that. Little to say, this gets a little complicated. <laughs> so let me try to clarify the four different ways you can use functionality wise the new chroma cannons. So if you just have the brand new chroma cannons, there are two different ways you can utilize them to master slave together. One, you can actually have a master and have all of them running as slaves. So via wireless DMX, they will communicate, but you can only make changes via the screen. With the master, you can adjust the different colors or go to sound modes with the screen and the buttons and the slaves will do whatever it is that the master is doing. The other way you can use these is with the RF remote. So you have to turn all these onto RF mode, and then when you press something on this remote, all the lights will do the same thing. There are limitations to this. On sound mode, each light will be doing its own independent sound mode. If you run, if you press blue, not all the lights might get the signal. So some lights might be blue, some might be stuck depending on the distance. So there is limitations to our F functionality. The third way you can use the chroma cannons is of course with wireless DMX. So you can run wireless DMX to these and DMX them just like you do any other light fixture out there. They do have the exact same DMX profile as the IR4s, the S4s, and the S6s. Basically all the up lights that exist in both lighting have the same DMX profile. So if you already have those lights, it's super easy to integrate these into the system. The fourth way is by using the IR4s as the master. So the IR4s are by far, like I said, the most popular up light on the market. And you can actually use these as the master to communicate to the chroma cannons. These lights, basically you have a IR remote and you can point it at the master. So if this up lights right next to your DJ booth, it can be as your master. You point the remote, you press blue, this turns blue and all the other chroma cannons in the room and IR4s that are on slave will also turn blue. Same thing with sound active. If you press sound active, this will be the master and every light will follow this. So each light will be synced directly doing the exact same thing. I will show you guys that in a live demo as well. So with the brand new chroma cannons, if you just got them out the box and you want to use them with just the remote control that comes with them, you don't have IR4s, etc. What you're going to want to do is go to the RF menu. So you're going to keep going until you get to RF and you're going to want to set it as the 
slave. So let me get back here to the RF. You're gonna to wanna to press enter, and now it is the slave. So now that both of them are on RF and slave, if I press a button, they change to different colors. Now, if I were to go to auto mode, they will of course follow the same auto mode. If I go to fades, they will follow the same fades. But like what I was saying, if you go to sound mode, they might start doing different things. So there you can see that the lights are kind of off and they're doing their own little sound mode internally between the two of them. But again, if you hit red, green, blue, they will all be in sync because you're setting that different command. This is limited to the range of the remote to the lights. So like I said, if these lights are around the room in a different place, they may do different things. They may not get the signal from the remote, etc. That was one of the limitations of the original version of this light. And we switched it to an IR model to make that change. Now, like I said, you also can master slave these independent of the light itself. So to do that, you're gonna wanna go to the master screen screen right there master on or off so I'm gonna turn the master off on this one and I'm gonna to go to the DMX and I'm now set as a slave you're gonna also want to make sure that you're on the same wireless DMX channel so now I can go my master is on and now if I go to a color this light is mimicking the exact color that I want so this is the master again communicating to all of the slaves the only way though that you can change the settings is by actually adjusting this master light using the buttons. So if I wanted to go to a different fade scene, I would have to go to this lights menu and make those changes. So you could have this sitting on your DJ table as the master and making the changes like so. That is an option that you might be able to do, or you can use the RF remote to change all the lights via the remote. Those are the two different functionalities that are built into the light in terms of not using DMX. But like I said, you also can use wireless DMX or we can control them with the IR4. Now to pair the new Chroma Cannons with the IR4s if you wanna use these in master slave mode. So all you gotta do is turn on your IR4. You wanna make sure that your lights are set to slave. So make sure your Chroma Cannons are set to slave. And now you can use the IR4's IR remote to control all of them at once using master slave so if i hit amber now everything is amber if i hit sound active mode this is the master controlling all the lights in master slave mode just gotta make sure all the wireless dmx frequencies are the same but this allows basically you to use this one light this one ir4 to control all of your ir4s and your chroma cannons. So now let's do a little discussion on what these are best for before we do demos in the hallway. The brand new chroma cannons, what are these meant to be or what are they good at? I will straight up tell you that if you watched my you know, video on what is the best uplight on the market. I go for all the different styles of uplights that exist on the market, both the big, the compact, and these micro detail lights. And that is exactly what I talk about in that video. I go through, these are not the only style of this Chroma Cannon, uh, looks like a can almost. I mean, literally it's about the same can size as like a can of Pop or a Red Bull or something like that. There's other brands that make these style lights. This is basically a knockoff, but this is a more detail oriented light. I wouldn't necessarily replace all of my up lights with this light. I mean, it's literally, this has four diodes. This is one diode. Is it as bright? No, it's a quarter. So I think this is more of a detail oriented light. Where this is gonna shine is in detail lighting. Say like some micro floral, maybe highlighting a mantle, a fireplace. You know, a lot of fireplaces have a mantle across. So you can put two of these on the lower fireplace, two up above, uh, window sills, all sorts of little small intricate things that you want to light up. These are gonna be ideal for that. They also have that mount on the back, so I see that being more of a detail light as well, where we could use magnets, mount these to the ceiling, use them as down lighting, so we can shoot from above downward. Uh, you could put them above a dance floor. There's all sorts of little detail-oriented things we can do with these lights to basically enhance what we're already doing with, say, up lighting or wash lighting around the room. That personally is where these things fit in. I would not use these as my dedicated up lighting units. I would get the IR4 if you're looking for up lights. 
But if you already have these up lights, these are gonna be a great addition for detail-oriented lights. Another area of these shines is like really small columns or really small things where this light really does well on a big wall where it has a lot of stuff to light up. This can be better served for those columns or those smaller things around the room. And of course, price-wise, they're significantly cheaper. These are a very good companion to your IR4s to just pretty much up your up lighting game is the best way I can put it. So we're gonna start adding these on for maybe some of our more detail oriented, more intricate level events. There are a lot of like older style houses that are getting turned into venues and there's multiple rooms in said house. So these help with basically being able to do intricate lighting around that house in more detail oriented environments. These are really good for big ballrooms where you need a lot of light. And these are gonna be good for all highlighting a lot of that detail oriented stuff. I can also see these being very helpful in say tents because you know tents, there's not really anywhere on the ground to put these lights, but you could get some adapters, you can get some magnets, and you could probably stick these all up around in the venue. You could put an eye bolt on this and zip tie it to different things. Um, you could zip tie it in general, um, but these are really light compact lights and with the wireless capability of being able to change the lights, turn them on, wireless DMX, all that sort of stuff. This is going to be, there's gonna be a lot of creative ways that people are gonna be using these lights. So if you are a creative person that has ideas on how to use these new chroma cannons, please put them down in the comment section down below. I'm gonna to try to utilize these in my events coming up in all sorts of different ways to try and you know see what cool things we can create and do with these lights. And I'm super excited to try them all out. So now let's go in the hallway and I'm gonna show you guys a light demo with these lights so you can see all the different colors, we can see the different beam angles, and I can show you guys the IR4s in comparison to them as well. So we're in the hallway of our office and I have, we have a gray wall, black ceiling, and these are basically the IR4 on the right and these are the new chroma cannons. As you can see, they have that cool little flare design kick out when it's at the maximum. I'll also adjust the angles, but I just quickly wanna go through the different colors for you guys. So we have red, green, blue, cool white, our amber, and our UV. So again, hex diodes have all the different colors you would ever need. So here is like a combo color ring. There's a purple for you guys, pink, a little bit of gold, a blue. And this is one thing to note, and this is common for this lens, you might see a little bit of a flare out right here. And that's just part of the diffusion lens that's built into these lights. The competitor lights or the name brand ones have the same thing. Again, I am currently doing master slave with the IR4 using the remote right here to change all the different settings. So these are all the different color combinations that exist inside the light for you guys to see. Right here you got like a pulse mode. Be able to see all the different pulses and colors. This is a sound active mode one of the different sound active modes and I'm currently tapping my foot to basically get it to bounce the music. So now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust one of those lenses to be the most compact so you can see a clear difference between them. So if you guys can see right there, that is the narrow beam in between. Pretty cool. So again, it can do a very tight beam going up down the wall or it can do more of a super wide beam and you can do any beam size in between. I'll actually go through. You guys can see too, it also creates like a little dot. So if you're using this more like a pin spot, that is kind of the dot you can create. And then as you screw this in, so I'm just screwing in the lens cover, it gets wider and wider and wider and wider. Pretty cool. So you have a lot of options when it comes to how you utilize this light. Like I said, if you're using magnets or down lighting from above to shoot on stuff, it makes things really cool. So up against the wall here, we can go from the widest all the way out. So that's the widest and I'm just gonna keep unscrewing it and you guys will see the beam angle change. And now we're at the tightest. 
So that right there was a quick little run through demonstration of the all new Chroma Cannons. So with the demo concluded, now let's look at the different case configurations. You can get the new Chroma Cannons as well as pricing info. The first option available outside of just buying them in individual packs, you can buy a eight unit soft bag. And looking at it, you actually could make this a 12 unit. If you wanted to add four more, you could, and you just have to pull all the chargers and the remotes out. So you could buy an eight unit soft bag, buy four spares, and then you're good to go. You're gonna get all the different chargers. You're gonna get a remote for every single one of them. And um, the bag is pretty straightforward. It's got a zipper on the front. So if you wanted to store like, you know, the remotes there, a couple of spare chargers, and then keep most of the chargers at home. And you could make this bag out to have 12 if you wanted to. Pretty straightforward, easy slots. Now, one of the biggest things people want to know about the cases is how much do they weigh? So as it sits right here, this is a 10 pound bag. Each one of these cans weighs roughly 0.9 pounds or one pound, basically. It is 10 pounds with all the chargers in it. So if you wanted to go ahead and add four more, I'd probably put this at about 15 pounds for a 12 unit soft bag. Or, you know, as it sits eight with the chargers, you're looking at 10 pounds right there in the back. Now, let me show you guys the charging case. And this is a game changer charging case. The first time I've ever seen Bow Flying do it. So this right here is the case. It's very similar to the IR4 case. It is a little bit smaller, um, but basically you have a handle on the front and the charging via IEC is on the back with a nice big switch. Two latches on the front, open it up. And now you have all 12 of your cans right here, ready to go. But as you notice, they have individual slots because the charger is built into the bottom of the case. Each individual can has a charger built right into the bottom of the case. So all you have to do, push them down and they will now start charging all ready to go. Up here, I'll plug it in, but these are your charging indicators for all 12 of the bays. And basically you have your IEC here to plug it in. They do send you four spare single chargers. So if you do need to charge one or plug one in at an event, you do have some spares and you get all of the remotes to control the lights. So there you go. There is the indicators for all of them charging. This one seems to be fully charged and ready to go versus the other ones need to be charged up for this event. Now, weight wise, you're looking at roughly 28 pounds, 27, 28 pounds on the 12 unit case. Of course, that also has all the chargers and everything on the side, all the little extra stuff. But yeah, 27 pounds on the 12 unit case. And I think this is personally, this is what you need to get. This setup with the charging just makes life super easy. And I'll already tell you, we are working on getting the IR cases to also have the same sort of integrated chargers. It'll probably be a bigger, heavier case to some degree, but we're working with both lighting on getting that case redesigned to be the same. Little caveat plug there. So let's talk pricing on the brand new Chroma Cannons. They come of course in eight unit soft bags and 12 unit charging cases. And the pricing I'm gonna be talking about is the pricing on bowflightingusa.com. If you're watching the video, as soon as the video is being released, the price is actually a little bit discounted on the website right now. And if you want even more savings, I'll put a discount code in the description down below for you guys to get even more savings. As it sits right now, it is six fifty for the eight unit bag and it is one thousand and fifty dollars for the twelve unit bag. So less than a hundred dollars per light. Super good deal. I'll also add, of course, as I mentioned, I own Bow Flighting USA. The benefits of going through Bow Flighting USA, everything comes with a two year warranty. Anything breaks within that two year span and it'll be replaced 100% no questions asked pretty much. I mean, literally it's super easy to get anything taken care of. We also have a full customer service staff team. I'll put the phone number right there. If you guys just want to call, text, chat, anything related to it, we got four guys on the back end. All of us are DJs. We all use these fixtures in and out. You got show out literally sitting over here, working on some orders, working on repairs in the workshop, handling pretty much any issue that comes your way. We also stock a majority of the lights here in our warehouse in North Carolina, and we go through and quality check everything before it gets shipped out to you. So we're trying to make buying lighting simple and easy. And uh, I also forgot to mention in this video, but if you guys have seen my full sound switch videos, 
These lights right here work directly with our current sound switch project. If you guys haven't seen it, we wrote a full on program for sound switch so that you guys can get into really cool DMX lighting without the need of any programming whatsoever. Check out that video if you need more info, but it is super cool and allows DJs to basically start doing DMX controlled lighting without ever having the program. And these work directly with that program, already set, ready to go, just like the up lights, the movers, the tubes, the, everything else already works in the program. So there's that. But anyways, guys, that is the brand new Chroma Cannons. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave down the comment section down below what you guys think of the new lights. Like the video, subscribe. I'll leave links to everything down below. Both Lighting USA, if you guys wanna pick them up and support me and support what we do here at Both Lighting USA. And uh, keep them records spinning, guys. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.